Hello my little gods and goddesses. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alex Zero and today we're going to be doing a quick little collective thrift haul. Um, my eBay and Poshmark are linked down in the description box. You can check it out if you like to online shop. Alright, let's get started. I just thought it was so cute. Look at the little bow. And then the flowers. So vintage. At the next door, I found myself a book, a nice hardcover book by Dean Kuntz. Dean Kuntz, and I think this is my first book by this author. I got it because he's been compared to Stephen King, and I like Stephen King, so I thought this would be a good little starting point. And it has three stories in here. Yeah, three novels three complete novels which is a really good deal um, this. I think it was like a dollar which is crazy and then I at that same place I also bought these little mini Melissa's mmm they smell so sweet they smell like candy and these are gonna be listed these are in a little girl size 9 adorable these are so expensive online so yeah i mean retail that's expensive next door i found this really nice long line cardigan with some floral embroidery and it's so cute kind of gothic too in excellent condition and the brand is mark four and strike and this is wool and acrylic blend and a size size extra large um i think i started off like at 38 and since it's almost fall and winter this will be really nice for the season it's so pretty i love the colors at the same place i found a little target collaboration sweater by sandy liang Sandy Ling. It's just a small fleece animal print full zip jacket with a pocket on the chest. Cute little animal print. Maybe like $30, $28 for that. I got myself this little vintage turtleneck shirt because it's so soft and comfortable and long sleeve. This is just by White Stag. But yeah, I just really like this print. Nice neutral for winter or fall. And then of course I picked up some more Hannah Anderson. I believe everything was 50% off, so this is $3. And then this is the $3. Coming off like a red, but it's an orange dress. And a size 130, which is like a 7-8. And this will be going into a lot with other similar sizes of 7, 8. And then I found a Victoria's Secret large set pajama with this feather print. It reminded me of the Sabrina Carpenter song, Feather. And it's in a nice lavender. The top. And the pants. very lightweight these don't sell for that much but i still got it because it was only like 350 for both i thought that was a really good deal so maybe 25 for the set i think that's how much i can get for it and lastly i got this cute little animal print top by mave i believe in a size extra small it could also be a girl's large like a 10 12 and a little girl's probably 25 for this one I just really like the leopard print and that is an anthropology brand okay let's get into all of these bags that I got at a different place that I really like this is a nice little messenger or hunting bag I think I could get maybe 38 for this one um, I didn't get I didn't find any like tag or like label but it's a popular style brand so, I mean, 
not popular style. It's a popular style. I don't know the brand of it, but it has these like leather straps and it's like in excellent condition. And this nice thick crossbody uh, strap that I think it's adjustable. Yeah. Yeah, I just think somebody will like this for like 38 bucks. That was nice. I'm gonna leave my best find for last year because it's crazy. Then I found this Wilson's K Factor Tour <laughs> bag. And it does have a little bit of a spot right here, but I could just rub that out. Pretty big. It's in really good shape though, otherwise, there's no holes or anything like that. And the logo is everywhere. Wilson. I'm on the fence about keeping this. I don't know yet. Because <laughs> I do have some tennis or some small rackets. So, I don't know. But these are were listed for around 40 bucks used. Next, we have a really cool vintage Converse duffel bag. I'm not sure if this is genuine leather or faux leather. But it is Converse. So I had to get it. And at this place, everything was 50% off as well, so this was only like $3. And it's, uh, it's in such good condition. Look at the inside. Yeah. The bottom liner is still in there, and this is from 1996. So we do have some embroidery in here. It says, Walsu International, oh no. Invitational. I don't know what that is. Is that like some kind kind of contest or like sporting event? I don't know. But 1996 and it does have little feet at the bottom. It's in really good shape. I think it's leather. Vintage leather. There's no tags that I've seen on the inside to tell me like the material, but I haven't looked very much. Okay, there's just one that says made in China. But yeah, this is a pretty nice carry-on duffel bag. It has the short straps and the crossbody strap attached still. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I think I might start this one at 80. It's in, it's in such great condition. The sell-through rate is pretty good as well. And there's none listed in that type of uh, material, the leather. All right, I'll just show you my probably the best but dirtiest bag that I found. <laughs> yeah, this is a messenger bag by Coach. It is vintage. Um, it is very dirty. And unfortunately, they put these little pins in there to hold the tag into the leather. But... It will be barely noticeable and it is vintage so yeah there you go and here's a little coach tag it's a pretty big messenger bag it's just really dirty but other than that there's like no holes or anything this is really nice black leather by coach with a turn lock key very dirty i need to clean it for sure but it's the coach tag in here Ooh, smells vintage <laughs> it smells vintage um this is a really good find and it still has a crossbody strap which is nice there you go and yeah just like no cracking this is really good leather for it not to have any cracking that's wild but yeah it's just a really nice old messenger bag by coach and i would expect to get 200 at least for this one for this one um i was thinking i really thought i was gonna be able to get like 500 but then when i looked at the solds it was like around 200 so yeah oh and the back has another bag just opens oh somebody left their pen in here 
That is so cool. So yeah, that was 19, but it was half off, so it was ten dollars, which is amazing. It was under a bunch of other old bags, so I'm really glad that I was digging through there. Um, okay, let's get into the clothing. Uh, yeah, I think that Coach Messenger bag is definitely my best find. Here we have a Bowden dress, which I love to find for grown-ups just as much as I love to pick it up for a, a little children. This is a US 12 Petite, I think, because it has a little P. It's a tag for Bowden. And it is a midi-length blue dress with a belt. And it's long sleeve, I think. Yeah, beautiful. If this was green, I might be keeping it because I really been wanting to find some green dresses, but yeah, that will go. I found another really pretty print European top that might be a dupe. I think this is a dupe for like a Vivian Westwood top. When I Google lensed it, some expensive top came out with a similar print. But this is just by DeSoto in a size 40 and this one does have some stretch so I think I'm gonna keep it because I love animal print so yeah I think this one is actually for me if it fits me if not then I will be listing it okay so don't worry <laughs> here's some Hannah Anderson in a girl size it's a pretty um, flannel in a 140 so maybe like a 910 Super cute. I'll put that in a lot if I have similar dress sizes. Oh, I love this show. Did any of you guys watch Sons of Anarchy? I know it's been over for a while, but I found this really cool graphic t-shirt. Um, and down the sleeves as well. We'll see what it sells for. I might keep it if it doesn't sell for much. But um, this is just in a woman's 2XL. It looks like a large, maybe extra large to me, but I love that print and I really like that show so probably keeping that, <laughs> probably. Here I found a men's polo top by Cool in a medium, it's just a really nice casual polo with a little logo of course, probably 25, I, didn't, I have not looked it up but I'm, I'm assuming it's around 25, 28 resale here's another little girl's dress by t t collection in a size seven really pretty geometric print again that will go in a lot probably with this one here this is by, by brandy melville in a little girl size with the little micro floral it's so pretty the little cardigan because or a long sleeve under that would be so cute because it is a spaghetti strap so yeah definitely i would put a long sleeve shirt under it for a little girl this might be like an eight or ten i'll have to compare because there's no size tag on that one here is an extra um crossbody strap that i just got just just because just in case it looks comfortable just in case i need it for a bag in the future it was only 79 cents so like 40 cents because it was half off or maybe i'll use it i don't know i also collect these little jars what are they called forgot i have another one with a little cat on it that my daughter found and so yeah i had to get this one with a little poodle on it it's so cute probably keeping that get this other shirt this one I'll list um, this is a beautiful embroidered roses and daggers with long semi sheer sleeves and the corset detail I think this is from Hot Topic or something like that and this is by The Craft which is like a witchy movie in a size 2 so maybe like a 2x I think it's new without tags as well. I 
And it has this on the sleeve. I don't know what that's for. Maybe you can put like little charms or something in there. I don't know, but that will be listed for sure. Then I got these little flats. I was really hoping that would be my size because I've been looking for like a cat or a dragon or maybe a goat print shoe because I was born the year of the goat. But these don't. I love finding this pajama brand. This is called Lance of Salzburg. And I currently have one or two listed. So I found another one, but this one's extra cute because of the ruffles. It has like ruffles at the collar. Look at that beautiful print. Excellent condition for vintage. Uh, it does button up. That's why it's so open at the front here. I have to button it up. There's the tag. There is no size tag, but I think it's a medium. There you go. Beautiful nightgown. And it has the ruffles at the sleeves as well. So pretty. So pretty. But yeah, I'll take measurements to find out uh, the sizing for that. Lastly, we have another vintage set. It's a three-piece set. And I picked this up because it's 100% silk. And it's plus size as well. So I had to pick it up. I did find, I think, one sold on eBay. This is House of Fraser, the collection, 100% silk, size 16. And here's the top that goes over the other top. And it's just a blue, semi sheer, long sleeve jacket. And here is a tank top. Oh, okay. It is flawed though. It does have a little bit of a open, what do you call that, hole? Like a seam? I wish I would have seen that. And it has a side zipper as well, so I'll have to put that in the listing. It needs a repair. Um, I don't know how to sew that well, so I will not even try to repair this. But hopefully I can get 50 for the set, because it's flawed. And here are the pants in a solid like baby blue and these are also 100% silk but these are in a size 18 so I guess one could just get rid of the tank top and use the pants and the the jacket top with like a white shirt or something else but I'll still keep them together just in case somebody wants everything and can have it repaired. In the comments what your favorite item was. And if you online shop, check out my Poshmark and eBay. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe if you're new here and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.